What is up you guys? So I've been really into mixed media, alcohol ink, and Posca pen art lately. And so I have a, um, a show coming up called, well, it's entitled Cream. So take that how anyone would, but I'm doing ice cream as my piece for the show. So this alcohol ink piece will be a collaboration between me and B to do ice cream on a canvas. Now this is a cradle board that we have in our shops. As you can see, there's a ring all the way around on the inside, just beveled out so you can hang it any which way. This piece of course will be, well, there's only, I guess you could hang it like vertical or wonky. I don't know, maybe some people would want it upside down, but I'm just gonna do it regular and whoever purchases it can hang it however they want to. So for this piece, I'm using 91% isopropyl alcohol from Mountain Falls. I also have some loaded into this little ketchup squeeze bottle just for better control. I'm going to be using Turquoise by Ranger. I'm gonna be using Fuchsia by Copic. I'm gonna be using Fluorescent Dull BG by Copic. Uh, Wild Plum by Ranger and um, Gold by Ranger. So that's my color palette. I am also going to be using my Wagner heat gun. This thing is awesome because I can change the temperature and how hard it blows. It's my favorite heat gun for alcohol ink specifically. So let's get it started. So when I do alcohol inks, I like to drench my piece in alcohol um, this is okay as long as you prepped your canvas properly. I use flat white interior water-based house paint and then I sand it with a 220 and a 400 grit sandpaper and then I spray gesso over it. Sandpaper again, 220, 400. Spray gesso and then 220, 400 sandpaper one last time and it'll be nice and sealed in so that when you add alcohol inks or alcohol that paint won't get soaked up into your board. Right? Right. So when I add my color, it's kind of just random. Don't forget when you do Sorry, my board's not quite level as you can see everything's shifting that way. When you use gold, shake it up really well. How high you turn your heat gun on is going to be indicative of how fast your alcohol evaporates. I don't like to use too many colors in any of my artwork because as your colors mix together, they're gonna create other colors. And I think people tend to forget that. So if you use two colors, you'll end up with at least three because your first two colors are going to combine and create a secondary color. So I try to keep a limited color palette so things don't get too busy.
There we go. First part is finished. Now we just need to seal it in with a UV archival spray. I like to use the matte finish because it won't reactivate any of my alcohol inks because it is um, free of any alcohol, anything in it. So what this is gonna do is protect my inks from fading and from being disrupted by anything else I may put on top of the alcohol inks. Make sure you shake it really well and then put a nice thick coat on your surface. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated area away from any open float flames when you use anything aerosol like spray paint or spray varnish or aerosol glue. You don't want to breathe it in and you also don't want to create a flamethrower. This stuff dries relatively fast but I'm just hitting it with a heat gun just to save a little bit of extra time. And since it's matte, you can tell when it's fully dry because nothing will be shiny anymore. It will always dry matte, but when you spray it on, it's gonna have that wet sheen to it. So now that this is done, let's deliver it to be.